Hello everyone, I am here to show you how to produce quality planting materials in banana through macro propagation technique. Macro propagation technology was developed by the ICAR National Research Center for Banana, Tiruchirappalli, and standardized at Banana Research Station, Kannara, under the Kerala Agriculture University as part of the project ICAR AICRP on Fruits. Natural regeneration of suckers in banana is very few in number and takes a long time, while production of tissue culture plants on the other hand is expensive and requires sophisticated infrastructure and technical expertise. This makes the production of quality planting materials a difficult task for an ordinary banana farmer. With the help of macro propagation technology, a farmer can himself produce quality planting material in his own farm without much investment or technical skill. For macro propagation, we need sword suckers from a healthy mother plant weighing around 1 to 1.5 kilograms. A sucker consists of a comb portion from which the roots arises and a stem portion which is technically called as pseudo stem. When we plant suckers in the field, a single banana plant arises from them through the growth and development of the apical meristem. Apart from the apical meristem, there are several buds within the sucker which remains dormant as long as the apical meristem is active. So we start by removing the apical meristem which is located within the sucker. Now how to remove the apical meristem? To get to the apical meristem, we should not cut back the stem portion as such because it can destroy the lateral buds present within. First, remove the roots and external layer of the comb. This will ensure freeness from nematodes and root-borne pathogens. We can also see whether there is any rhizome weevil infestation in the sucker. Always use healthy, pest and disease-free suckers. The stem portion consists of leaf sheaths overlapping each other. We need to remove these leaf sheaths one by one to reach the apical meristem. Here you can see the buds present on the sucker. Here is one, this is another one. Each leaf sheath subtends a bud within. Start by removing the roots and the external layer of the comb using a sharp knife. Give longitudinal slits on the stem portion and remove the leaf sheaths one by one. Now we reach almost at the center portion of the sucker where only a few leaf sheaths are left behind. At this stage, the whole cylindrical portion is cut back to expose the apical meristem. This is the apical meristem which are to be destroyed. First, we give 6 to 8 cross cuts and the apical meristem is removed to a depth of 2 cm, leaving a cavity in the center. The prepared suckers are to be given a fungicide treatment for 20 to 30 minutes before planting we can use a fungicide like carbon dacin or pseudomonas fluorescence. The treated suckers may be air dried for 2 to 3 hours before planting. Planting should not be done in a soil media since the soil borne pathogens can infect the suckers and it will get destroyed eventually. We need a soilless media like sawdust or coco peat. Fresh sawdust should not be used in any case as it keep on decomposing and the heat generated can affect the suckers. Fresh sawdust may be allowed to decompose for at least 2 to 3 weeks before use. For this, moisten the sawdust and keep it for 2 to 3 weeks for decomposition. The media can then be filled in pots or grow bags of 30 cm wide that can contain 2 kg of media. It can also be filled in beds of 1 m wide and of convenient length. The prepared suckers can be planted in media completely buried to a depth of 3 to 5 cm followed by light irrigation using a rose can. Care should be taken to avoid overwatering. Irrigation frequency can be 2 to 3 per week depending on the weather conditions. Macro propagation should not be exposed to direct sunlight and rain. On 20 to 25 days after planting, about 2 to 5 primary buds emerge depending on the variety. Primary buds are allowed to grow for another 25 to 30 days and when they reach a 3 leaf stage with a stem girth of 2.5 cm, 
they are macro propagated just like the suckers by decapitation and removal of apical meristem and finally covered with the media 20 to 25 days after this the secondary buds emerge from the base of the primary seedlings they are allowed to grow for another 20 to 30 days when the platelets reach a three leaf stage they are removed along with the roots and planted in poly bags containing potting mixture these plants are given a hardening period of 40 to 45 days for establishment and making it ready for planting in the field this is a ready to plant hardened macro propagated plantlet for planting the macro propagated plantlets are to be handled like tissue culture plants prepare the pits in advance and fill three fourth of the pit with farmyard manure green manures and topsoil and allow to decompose for two to three weeks and planted just like tissue culture plants they perform better than suckers and are as good as tissue culture plants Using macropropagation technology, about 15 to 20 plantlets can be produced from each sucker in a period of 3 to 4 months. The number of plantlets produced vary with the variety. For an ordinary farmer, apart from commercial varieties, macropropagation is the best method to multiply rare varieties at his own farm.